Namaste and a very, very good afternoon to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to extract year from a date variable using SPSS. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to pull out the year part from a date variable, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. As you can see here, in this particular data set, I've got three variables. The first variable is row ID. The second variable is customer name. And the third variable here is the order date. Now, when you look at the date variable, namely order date, you can clearly see it has a month. My apologies. It has a day, month, and year format. It has DD, M, 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 Y, Y, Y format. So it's a DD, M, M, M. Y, 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 Y format. What I intend to do is I like to extract the last four digits which represent the year part from this variable. Why do you want to extract year? Simply because for many machine learning tasks, instead of having the original date variable, we would like to split up this particular variable as day, month, year and work on it separately. In SPSS, there's a very interesting option under the transform menu, which is called as the date and time wizard. This is the only option which helps you work with any kind of feature engineering related to date variables. So let me proceed to now show you how to extract the year part from this variable. You can see here at the top, the Fifth option from the left side is the transform menu. You can go on to click on the transform menu. Under the transform menu, there are a lot of options. I will go on to choose the option date and time wizard. This is very, very important. This important option can be used to do a wide variety of tasks with respect to date and time variable. You can clearly see here in the transform menu, you have to choose date and time wizard. The moment I click on this, what happens is that this opens up a new window. You can see here, this window is called as the date and time wizard. Below this, SPSS gives a message saying, welcome to the date and time wizard. There are many different options that you can explore here. However, I like to keep it very specific and focused on one topic here. You can see SPSS is asking you a question, what would you like to do? And there are at least six different options here. I will choose the fifth option. What is this option? Extract a part of a date or time variable. I repeat, you have to choose extract a part of a date or time variable. You may want to extract month or day or hour or minutes or second. It does not matter. To extract just a part of the date or time variable, you can choose this particular option. Once you do this, please click on the next button. You can see here, this leads to another window. This is still part of the date and time wizard. However, we are performing step one of two. You can see at the top, SPSS displays a message, get part of a date or time as a ordinary numeric variable. So this is again, very, very important. This feature allows you to convert a date variable to a numeric variable. The second line states, choose a variable and the component of the date or time to extract. In the left-hand side, you can see there are two variables that are being displayed. One is the current date and time. Where is this variable coming from? If you recall, in the original data set, I've got only three variables, row ID, customer name, and order date. We don't have the current date. So one question that might pop up in your mind is where is the current date coming from? The current date is basically coming from the system date. Your laptop date and time configuration is used to calculate the current date and time. 
I'm not interested in the current date. I'll choose a second variable, which is odd date. I can push it into date or time section. So this is your order date. What is the unit to extract? By default, if you don't specify any option, SPSS will extract years. You can see here, the default option is year. So SPSS will work on order date and pull out the year part from this variable. Let me click on the drop-down menu. You have different options here. Let's say tomorrow you're working on a different data set. You might want to extract month. Here, you can choose the month option. In case you want to extract day, you can go ahead and choose day. Similarly, you can also extract hours, minutes, seconds, quarter, week, or a date portion, time portion, day of the week, or day of the year. Any of these things can be used. I'll keep it very, very simple here. I'll choose years. Once you have made the appropriate selection, the next thing to do here is to click on this particular button, which is called as the next button. This leads to the final step. We are in step two of two. We are still working in the date and time wizard. Look at this, the result variable. What is the name that you would like to give to the result variable? The name that I would like to give here is year. What is the label that you would like to specify here? This is an optional statement. If you want, you can go ahead and specify or you can simply ignore. Year of order. So this is what I will be choosing. So what this does is it will pull out the year from the order date and place it in a new variable. As a final step, you can hit the finish button. You can see here, this is the finish button. You can go on to click on the finish button. Once you have clicked on the finish button, you can see there's a fourth variable that is created, which is called as year. The first variable, the first three variables were already present in the data set. This is the output of the date and time wizard. Let's examine a few cases here. There's a customer called as Claire. She has placed an order on November 16th. We can see here the year for order date is 2016. If you look at the second customer, his name is Darren. The order date, the year for, the, for his order is 2016. SPSS has successfully pulled out the year part as 2016. Similarly, for the third record, the year is 2015 year has been successfully extracted. Like this, if you go to the last record, we have approximately 793 records. For each of these 793 records, SPSS has created a new variable, namely year. In this video, I have shown you how to extract the year part. As I mentioned earlier, the same procedure can be followed to extract day, or month as well. Now you may ask me, what is the point of extracting this? After extracting this particular variable, let us suppose you want to find out the year-wise sales or the year-wise profit. You can simply do this by taking year as a categorical variable and use sales or profit as an aggregate measure. I like to look at the year-wise distribution of transactions. To do this as a second step, I can go to the Analyze menu. The second item from the top is what is called as Descriptive Statistics. Under the Descriptive Statistics section, you can choose the very first option, namely Frequencies option. Here, this will create a new dialog box. This dialog box is called as the frequency dialog box. In the canvas to the left side, you can see all the variables. I will choose the final variable, namely year of order. You can go on to choose the option year of order and hit the OK button. Now, this is 
the output window. You can see this is the output window of SPSS and SPSS is giving you the output of frequency distribution. Very interestingly, we have the year-wise distribution of transactions. In the year 2014, 166 transactions were observed. In the year 2015, 148 transactions were observed. Similarly, in the year 2016 and 2017, 217 and 262 transactions were observed. It is more meaningful for us to look at the percentages rather than the actual numbers. So when you look at the percentages, I would say that the largest number is 2017. The largest value for percentage is for 2017. The respective percentage here is 33%. So which means that we have seen the highest transaction in the year 2017. So this is how creating a year variable has benefited us. We can do any kind of analysis by taking year as one of the independent variables. We can also construct interesting charts and graphs using this particular variable. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we have seen how to use the date and time wizard to extract year by creating this particular variable year we can perform some advanced analysis i request you to subscribe to my channel also like and share my videos thank you very much for watching this particular video have a great day ahead